Our other focus is Saudi diplomat who is accused of raping two Nepalese women who were employed as, at his residence in Gurgaon has now left India. This even as the Ministry of External Affairs has sought cooperation from the Saudi establishment in getting access to the accused diplomat. The Saudi ambassador kept on defending the accused diplomat. He and his wife were shielded and kept inside the embassy. Saudi Arabia has not was not willing to take any action against the accused. The Saudi establishment even accused the Gurgaon police of violating the, di the diplomatic immunity that uh, the accused enjoys. The ME also confirmed developments in a statement and said that the diplomat enjoys diplomatic immunity. Meanwhile, Nepal has arrested two people who allegedly trafficked the women to India as Nepal can't take up the case directly with Saudi Arabia because the crime was committed in India. Nepal just hopes Saudi takes action against the diplomat. Let's get now from Maha Siddiqui, who's with us live uh, from our newsroom this evening. Maha, what's the MEA doing to uh, ensure that uh, the guilty doesn't get away from this crime? We're already being told that uh, the accused diplomat has left the country. Well, that is true. The accused diplomat left the country last evening and there is very little that India can actually do now because this diplomat is covered under the Vienna Convention. He has diplomatic immunity. That is the reason that he could not be brought in for investigations as well, for questioning. For that, his diplomatic immunity would have had to be waived by the Saudi embassy. And the, remember, Simi, the ambassador, had refused to do that. In fact, he had gone ahead and accused the Indian police, that is the Gurgaon police, of stepping into the house of a diplomat without permission so clearly we can expect very little it is uh, uh, it goes without saying that the Saudi government is unlikely to do anything against its diplomat because they have been defending him tooth and nail now Nepal in fact understands the situation it was a very difficult situation for them as well this crime against two of their citizens was committed in a third country that is India off record, they also told us that the, the country, that is Nepal, shares a pretty good relationship with Saudi Arabia. On the one hand, though, they wanted justice for these two women. On the other hand, they did understand the intricacies and the complications diplomatically. However, even now, on record, they say that they will continue to pursue this matter diplomatically and legally. However, it seems... Uh, quite unlikely that these two are now going to get any sort of justice with this diplomat uh, Majid Ashur having gone back to Saudi Arabia now. Right, uh, Ma Siddiqui, thanks so much for that update. Maha telling us that there's very little that the MEA can uh, do now since uh, the diplomat has already left the country. We'll continue tracking developments. We'll also try and seek more political reactions to this story.